Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah ma ba'd. Uh, this is a question about something which is becoming e- increasingly frequent here in the West amongst the Kuffar. If a calamity takes place or if somebody's been killed, uh, if there's been an accident, what the Kuffar tend to do now is they go to the location of the place where the incident has happened and they put down flowers or they put down memoirs or they put down some kind of a message or a note or maybe even a gift for the Kuffar uh, for them to remember the deceased. What is the ruling on this? Is this something that the Muslim can partake in? Or is this something which is impermissible? I ask this question here to Sheikh Saad ibn Nashr al-Shithri. May Allah uh, preserve him. Uh, so I explained the situation to him that the ada of the kuffar, the habit of the kuffar here is that if somebody passes away because of some kind of an accident, what they do is they gather and they place down flowers at the place of where the person has passed away. Is this permissible for the Muslim to engage in, meaning is this something which is customarily okay, therefore the base ruling on it permissible, or is this imitation of the kuffar, therefore the base ruling on it being impermissible. So the shaykh just quite simply says, La taf'al. Now this is from the istilahat that we have to understand the terminologies that sometimes the ulama use. If he says don't do this, or la yambaghi, meaning this is not befitting, uh, or something of that nature, all of this is for us to now know that this thing is not allowed. So quite simply, he's just said, don't do this, which then basically means that it's not permissible for a Muslim to do this. I've asked another sheikh here, this is Sheikh Suleiman at Tawajri. He used to be a Qadi in Mecca, he's now retired. He used to be a Qadi in Saudi Arabia, should I say, for a number of years, I think about 30, 40 years. Now he is in Mecca currently residing and he teaches in Masjid al-Haram. And his answer is actually quite nice. He says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given nobility to the Muslim when he is alive and even after he passes away. As for when he is alive, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him a complete and perfect religion for him to follow. And this nobility continues even after death because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then has obligated upon the people that remain alive to wash him, to shroud him, to pray over him, to bury him amongst the Muslims and then to supplicate for him and then to continue to have ihtiram and respect towards him and his family and his honor etc. Therefore, he says, "Wala yajuz at-tashabbuh bil kuffar." It is not permissible for us then to imitate the kuffar, and it's because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given us plenty of nobility in our Sharia. Another one from the ulama. This is Sheikh Khalid Abdul Qadir. He is a teacher in Masjid Haram, also in Mecca. He says, "Now his answer is actually um, a bit more technical, should I say?" He says, "If this is not imitation of the kuffar, then we can say that it is bid'ah, meaning if it is not clear." That this is something which is specific to the kuffar, meaning Muslims are doing it and non-Muslims are doing it as well. Then we will say that at least then in that case it is bid'ah. Meaning, if this is something that the kuffar are only doing themselves, only the kuffar are doing it, then it is not permissible for the Muslims to do it outright because this is something which is specific for them. This is something that they have innovated and created for themselves. So they will say it's haram, it's clear in its, in its impermissibility. But if Muslims are doing it as well as non-Muslims, then we will say that this is bid'ah. Why? Because they are adding to what has already been legislated from those things that we should be doing for the deceased. And anything which is additionally added on to our sharia without any evidence, then this is bid'ah. Hence he says, for the sunnah, it is now recommended for us to make dua for the deceased and make istighfar for him. And this action is not allowed. However, if it then becomes prevalent, everybody is doing it, and the person is now, you know, seeing everyone do it, then there is no harm in him as long as he knows that this thing is not permissible. So, I mean, we've asked a number of scholars here, and all of them have given the same answer, and hopefully we can understand as to why they're saying no as well, because some of the answers have been more comprehensive than others. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that he gives us nobility whilst we are alive and nobility after we pass away. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes us in a manner that he is pleased with us with. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes our deeds remain as something which is reoccurring and not flowers and gifts and ways of, you know, things which will not benefit us after we pass away.